right here we have it finished result as render it took about seven minutes to render and next what i want to do is save but i want to save this as hdri format so so i'm going right here i'll select hdri and i'm going to save this the reason why hdri because i can pull out some of these details out and you will see it you can do this in photoshop or i'm going to use a uh, photo magic so so right here is my photomatics pro and i'm going to preload file okay right here my file open you can see it's already more details right here we'll go on tone mapping and with tone mapping you can notice how much more details i can bring out with creating so here's a settings and it's remember from my last time so this is our overall string we can apply it so i'll go all the way 100 percent color saturations i want to bring actual more colors in details contrast probably go a little bit more or so right here on the back you can kind of see preview with the less details we're kind of losing and more details we start having nice bring those areas to what i want to do okay smooth highlights this is too dark and we we'll start losing some details so we need to bring those highlights back up slightly but not too much because if we have it all the way we start losing again details in the middle probably maybe around this area okay same white points is good normally i'm looking for right details around this area time when you start using some of those details maybe around this white point okay we can see nicely okay our black point i think we'll go all the way 100 because it'll be dark on this one and a gamma let's see if we bring all the way up a little bit too bright we start having too much overlay so probably Maybe around these areas of gamma temperature again we can go warmer or a little bit more colder we'll just select okay, maybe around here again and this is all visually what you, you kind of prefer micro smooth will go all the way down so we'll have sharper details and also let's look on shadow smoothing maybe just slightly so this area kind of rework okay we'll leave it all default let's click process here is process it and we also have our dark and light curve so I'm going to bring darker this area bottom okay also let's pop up sharpness higher we're done when you're done just click save image it's save as to map it and next we'll go inside the photoshop and start working in the photoshop okay first i want to adjust some color correction and add some elements to this um i also notice it doesn't have it that much red i want it so maybe i need it rework okay let's go ahead and um i'll add curve go from red and just overall add kind of color correction okay yeah when red let's see if we can bring more to cyan darker bring points kind of readjusting and And this correct kind of correction mm, gently a little bit okay next I want overall tone down a little bit so it's become more contrast or actually you know what um, we can do with two um, apply two filters and modify one on center so let's do this way we'll go to curves and on this I'm just looking on the sides and for the sides I am one cut cyan color so I'm going all the way cyan this is area it's where I'm looking 
don't worry that much about the middle part. Okay, kind of sand bluish. Okay, and when I select um, mask, we can select brush right here. Let's set to about three. And I set to the softness. So, and I'm start brushing out right here, kind of like almost the middle part. Okay. Next, we can go select new curve. And for this one, I'll just look for the middle part. And I'm going to add a little bit more, maybe yellowish kind of warmer color. Same things. So now I'm going to brush out sides. So right here you can see we have two colors. So if we kind of start coloring, correcting them. Okay, let's go merge those layers together. And I want to bring more depth to this image. And we'll doing this by applying desaturation, uh, shadows, and soft light after. So I'm going to add. Okay, a little bit more. Let's let me see on the blue, probably darker, maybe darker on cyan. Okay, we'll go image adjustment. We'll go to the shadow highlights and try to smooth kind of out. Let's click on the soft light. So you can see how much it brought darker. So we can bring this kind of heavier look. those areas okay so let's go next and we add some lighting to this um, strike so I'm going to create new layer and brush will just create smaller size and I'm setting to zero hundred percent opacity and right here from Sun I'm click once and kind of like it's creating lines Oops, control Z. So you can press once and press second time shift. So if you want to create straight lines, or you can just draw by hand if you want a little bit curvy lines. So what I'm doing is just using shift right now. I'm going to decrease size, make smaller. like strikes next we'll go to filter blur just get blur and switch this to the soft light let's add another layer and now I want to add even more effects to this on this one we're actually going to just fill up with any color we'll go filter render and we'll go to clouds be sure you have black and white set filter Render, friends, clowns, and press Control F a few times till you have kind of like quite a bit noisy map, maybe which you like it. And next, let's go to actually blur, radial blur, and we'll go to use it zoom. Let's bring zoom about 48, best quality, and see I put it just slightly up, so from approximate position of the sun. Let's click OK. And we'll go switch this to the soft light. So you can see right here we have nice strikes going from this middle of the point. Again, we can readjust maybe slightly. Okay, and the other things also, you see our mountains go outside. If we leave them in, they maybe can go inside. And I'll show different versions how you can play around and set in a second. So right here we set, um, next actually what I want to do is combine them and apply one more filter through the filter forge. I'm going to open this one. 
you don't need to use all of these applications but it does help sometimes like with a fast color correction right here I can just select this one click apply and we have just add additional kind of saturations let me see how one merge and you can see how it slowly become better and better okay and next right here a little bit too light on the sides so I'm going to create curve I'll take this curve and I bring not yet all the way down just so I can see we'll take a brush right here let's increase size for this brush and I'm just start kind of painting slightly in let me set to 2 now opacity and I'm creating this border will go around here so a bit less on the top okay. a bit more on the side so maybe no up up to four kind of creating this border around you can see Now we'll go open properties, set all the way down now, and let's set to the soft light. So this is also add additional kind of like border almost to this image. Concentrating on the middle part. Right here slightly kind of I don't like how it's come, so we can let me actually bring closer and look because yellow sun and you can see effect one so I'm going to fix this get merge layer together and probably just going to filter blur blur for this okay we can fix this way or other way actually filter used oil paint on new one bring stylization click OK add a mask control I to inverse mask we'll take brush now okay be sure it's a set okay right here and we'll set about 10 and just start painting in slightly around this area maybe it pop up higher okay actual X so I reverse to white I forgot to do this but you can see we kind of start smoothing this area a little bit maybe too much on the sides zoom in okay right here I see how it a little bit also just fix slightly area and paint a little bit more so we can readjust Okay, it's look okay just to fix it again if you see some grain run you can probably just slightly touch those areas as well it's, it's a kind of effect again if you feel like but overall right here fix it a little bit in this area and maybe even just overlay kind of how I said so let me go back. create one more and we go blur click OK again remove mask inverse it and we say we can just a little bit few strokes on the blur right here around 
Okay, let's go add extra sharpness to this. I'm going to create two layers, group them together, set this to overlay, take top, vivid light. This will control I to inverse our vivid light and blur, surface blur. So it will add, you can see sharpness to all image. Most time it's become very strong, so we can go back and just see if we how much we need to add areas just a little bit and let's go final add edge blur so create new we'll go to overlay and we'll go to high pass okay. here we can see probably zero it will work nicely this high pass is just help a little bit add to the edge okay let's look closer Again, if the sharpness is too high, you can always reduce. I want to just add a little bit edge to this. Okay, so here's a one version. You can see with the peaks kind of going out, and uh, and here's different versions with the peaks go straight up. So this move to the sun, you can play around with how you want to place them if you like more going out of the way or you want to go more in the way. So it's up to you, but just different versions playing around and see which one come up. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Kick It Play Studio. Please remember visit us on the web is www.kickitplay.com.